DJs hauling two tons of trouble and a circus girl in a three-ring free-for-all Saturday. Coming up on News Center 3, a man convicted only today of murder talks with reporter Ninette Beaver. NU students aren't sure they're getting their money's worth. And a brand new high school football champion is crowned. Stay right there for all details. Our tummy is quite a lumberjack. You're hungry as lumberjacks, too. Right, Gramps? Hey, I'll make sandwiches. Hey, a sandwich is a sandwich. But a manwich is more like a meal. And what's a manwich? Well, sloppy joes made with your fresh ground beef plus Hunt's manwich sauce. Thick with tomatoes, onions, peppers. Makes more of a meal. Oh, yeah, like I said, a sandwich is a sandwich. But a manwich is a meal. Yeah, especially for us hungry lumberjacks. We're building our reputation on one great idea after another. After another. Quasar. And your Quasar dealer has many models of color and black and white TVs, microwave ovens, video recorders, video cameras, and accessories. See your Quasar dealer now for a great selection and outstanding values. Buy a Quasar microwave oven and get a $37.50 factory rebate for a Thanksgiving dinner at Alcon. Well, McCall's a name for sales game. Old Smokey was writing me a ticket. I says, you're making me late for my warehouse date. You can take that ticket and stick it. Bye. Freight sales must liquidate several carloads of these beautiful Bassett dining room sets. Only $299 buys you either a table and four chairs or buffet and matching hutch. Choose from two styles for only $299 each. Incredible buys. And tell them CW sent you. Freight sales right off the freeway in Omaha, Glenwood, and Lincoln. Skycam on top of the news. Chuck Roberts, John McDonald, Dick Fletcher, Dale Hansen, and News Center 3 tonight. Good evening. The Ayatollah's head cold is keeping the Iranian hostage situation relatively stable, but not quiet. 100,000 demonstrators marched on the U.S. Embassy today shouting, Death to Carter, down with America. Among them, 30,000 Marxists, members of the Fedayeen underground, which until the embassy takeover was the closest thing the Ayatollah had to what could be called organized opposition. Now those leftists and every other segment of Iranian society seem united behind the demand for the return of the Shah in exchange for the release of Americans. Khomeini, meanwhile, is resting in Gom, the holiest of Muslim cities. The Assembly of Experts, the makeshift legislative body, drafted a new constitution today giving Khomeini virtually unlimited power. Islam is not a forgiving religion. It prescribes punishment. And if the Ayatollah releases the hostages unharmed, he will be acting out of character. On the 13th day of the siege, it does not look good. In Omaha, Creighton University students staged a peaceful anti-Iranian demonstration today amid shouts from dormitory windows of nuke the Ayatollah. And in Washington, plans are now being laid for a possible oil shortage. Some governors, as a matter of fact, even many experts are saying that there will not be much of an effect on American oil supplies because of the cutoff of Iranian oil shipments. But President Carter tonight apparently thinks that there will be some kind of shortage. Within two weeks, he will order states to cut fuel consumption to compensate for the cutoff. Until then, Mr. Carter is asking governors to voluntarily cut back. The likelihood is that supplies in our country will be, supplies to our country will be reduced. That's something that I am perfectly willing to face, particularly since I have leaders like you marching shoulder to shoulder with me to face that eventuality. Some governors say they don't want to go back to odd even gasoline sales days, but they will if they have to. President Carter's new Secretary of Commerce nominee is an emeritus member of the Creighton University Board of Directors. Philip M. Klutznik, a Chicago businessman, is said to be Mr. Carter's top choice to head up the Commerce Department. Klutznik was here in Omaha only last week to accept the rarely given Manresa Medal from Creighton University. The 72-year-old businessman is a 1930 graduate of the Creighton Law School. Philip Klutznik would succeed Juanita Kreps, who resigned as Commerce Secretary earlier this month. Chuck? What could be the longest preliminary hearing in Nebraska history is over. Municipal Judge Ted Carlson says he'll rule by November 26th whether Omaha obstetrician Dr. C.J. LeBen should stand trial on charges he performed an illegal abortion and failed to care for an infant born alive during an abortion operation. Prosecutors argued today the case is the first of its kind and poses questions needing answers only a jury could provide. LeBen's attorneys argued he reacted to the situation the way he was taught and it would be a travesty to make him stand trial. 
The senior third-year pediatric resident on duty at the time of the abortion in question testified today. Dr. Vaughn Roberts said he twice examined the two-pound, nine-ounce boy and believes any medical involvement would have been useless. Dr. Roberts says it would be reasonable not to order the infant to intensive care under the circumstances of a saline-induced abortion. Deputy County Attorney Robert Ziegler told the court Nebraska law requires physicians to save infants and the duty is assumed before the baby is born. It's being called a landmark first-degree murder trial. A Council Bluffs jury tonight convicted 27-year-old Clarence Dean Pedersen. Ninette Beaver has the story. Knowledge is the first time that a defendant in the state of Iowa, at least in the murder case, has defended himself and elected to do so. Uh, Clarence Dean Pedersen uh, was convicted of killing his brother-in-law in Council Bluffs last January. Throughout the trial, Pedersen refused to be represented by an attorney, wouldn't question any witnesses, in fact, refused to take any part in the proceedings. I can't uh, say that he didn't defend himself for the reason that uh, a defense may uh, result in uh, uh, refusing to say anything or not doing anything. and. Uh, it could be categorized as a defense and, and, and uh, a well-thought-out plan on his part. In earlier court proceedings, Pedersen was judged sane and competent to stand trial. He's refused to talk to his parents, Thank you. any lawyers, other members of the press. But he did consent to this interview with me several minutes after hearing the verdict, which carries a mandatory life sentence. What about not taking part in your own defense? You said you wanted to represent yourself, but you didn't take any part in the trial. Why didn't you do that? Mm. You didn't uh, question any of the witnesses or anything? Oh, no. Uh, I, I'm not a constitutional right. They are, you know. Mm -hmm. You said you weren't guilty. Uh, why didn't you tell that to the court and to the jury? Mm, the judge was saying most of that. He said that. Well, they, they knew that I what well, I pled not guilty, you know. So you didn't think it was necessary for you to talk about it and tell them? Mm, no. Um, I didn't think so. District judges simply Judge Burgett has set December 14th for sentencing. Ninette Beaver, News Center 3. One year after the Jonestown mass suicide, most of the survivors tonight are seeking psychiatric help. It was last November that the horror at the People's Temple Commune came to light. Little has changed in the settlement itself. The chair in which Jim Jones sat when he called on his people to die is still there. And so were the benches where they sat and listened and obeyed. Most of the survivors of the temple have resettled in San Francisco. They have not been able to erase the anxiety, the fear, and the guilt from their minds. One of the Jonestown defectors last year, Vern Gosney, will never be able to be free of hatred. I would have to say that I hate him. Because he murdered all those children. And he murdered my son. Tried to murder me. Other Jonestown survivors say they fear for their lives, that other living cult members will seek revenge because they live through the Jonestown massacre. Get ready for cold winter nights with electric blankets from Kmart. Save 20% or more on every electric blanket in the store, now through Saturday. The Magnavox trucks rolled into town for the 1980 Midwest Dealers Showing, and Mission Television and Appliance Center in Bellevue bought it all. All of the 1980 models, including display samples at greatly reduced prices. You'll find a huge selection of color console styles with all of the new features. Color portables in all sizes and models. The latest video tape recorders and console stereo and stereo components. These 1980s and much more at reduced prices at Mission TV. Magnavox makes staying home fun, and Mission Television and Appliance Center in Bellevue makes it easy to own now. Husker Dodge, the Dodge store. We're breaking all sales records at Husker Dodge during our super saving sale. 450 cars and trucks on sale with discounts in the hundreds of thousands. If you're even thinking about buying, do it now and you'll save hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars. But hurry, the Husker Dodge super saving sale ends tomorrow. Husker Dodge, the Dodge store. JCPenney presents a sale for all seasons with savings on the bundle up. 
It zips up to keep you toasty warm. Choose early American patchwork or geometric patterns. And 20% savings on lightweight machine washable Velux blankets to keep you warm on the coldest of nights. Savings on JCPenney's most popular electric blankets, too. And you can charge it with your JCPenney card or Visa card. So turn down your thermostat and turn up the savings at JCPenney right now. It is expensive to get a college education, much more expensive now than even a year ago. And at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, students are getting a little upset with the high cost. More on the tuition problem tonight from Todd Smith in Lincoln. These are the people, the taxpayers, the tuition payers, the education seekers, who want to know more about how the University of Nebraska handles their money. Right now, there's, a little, there's been a little stress, a little tension over in the administration building over in Regents Hall. So they're making special efforts to keep us off the agenda, to keep us from raising a little too much uh, exuberant activity, which is sometimes known as hell. They say university officials won't listen to their common concerns about tuition increases, Absolutely. university program cutbacks, the quality of education, priorities, and financial accountability. So the students are now holding rallies, echoing their concerns through a rally microphone. While the student life is a casual existence, their concerns are not. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford school much longer if they keep on raising tuition on us. Because I can't afford it right now and I'm on my second federally insured loan already. If they're raising tuition, I don't see why they're cutting back on programs like closing the library. They're talking about that. Because of their concerns, many students packed today's Board of Regents meeting to let university officials know they are not happy. Although the symptoms have been apparent in past years, it is only recently that a loss of funding to university programs has actually threatened the existence of major services. We admit the economic nature of this crisis, but we also believe many of the cutbacks are politically motivated. We recommend a thorough re-examination of the present administrative structure of this university by students, faculty, staff, and the legislative branch of government. Because these students and their parents have a big investment in the University of Nebraska, they say they'll keep trying to make this board more accountable for the money it collects and then spends, even though they believe the regents and the university officials don't really care what they think. Todd Smith, New Center 3. In a couple of weeks, the one place Omaha deaf people can go when they get into trouble will be closed. Bill Ivins doesn't know how he'll get along without assistance in the interest of the deaf or aid. Bill's a printing pressman and foreman who occasionally needs help dealing with a bank, a school, or an insurance company. Aid has people help people like Bill get along, to interpret, to intervene. Kay Fitzhenry is not only Bill's interpreter, she's the director of aid. Kay says the city and county budget crunch has left aid without funding and that federal money won't be available until March. Without the job placement, the classes, and the interpreters aid provides, Kay says lots of Omaha deaf people won't be able to contribute to society. Omaha firemen are now waiting to get back some lab test results before calling this morning's three-alarm fire a case of arson, but they're pretty sure that's what it was. The blaze raced through part of a small shopping center at 84th and Q streets this morning. Destroyed were the Colorado bar and the next door barber shop. And it's the scorch marks on the barber shop floor which indicate arson. A ruling could come in a day or two. But in an earlier fire, the one at the San Francisco bar and the Lox Stock and Bagel restaurant last month, authorities are hunting for an arsonist tonight. They tell News Center 3 they have some good information which could lead them to arrest a suspect very soon. <laughs> Charlie and I both work, love home cooking, but how do we find time? Our energy-saving Amana Radar Range Microwave Oven with Rotowave Cooking System, a rotating shower of power that cooks so evenly and cooks most foods faster without turning. It even holds food at serving temperature. For sorry, I'm late, Charlie. Sorry, I'm late. Amana Touchmatic 2 Radar Range, the first microwave oven with a memory. CKC Auto Supply, Sydney, or Braddyville Appliance, Braddyville. Hi, I'm Ed May with news of a very timely sale going on right now at your Earl May Garden Center. This is our famous lantern type bird feeder. It comes complete with a five and a half foot pole and regularly sells for $7.99. But we've reduced the price $2 just in time to get ready to feed the birds this winter. You get this $7.99 bird feeder at a money saving $5.99. This week only at your Earl May Garden Center. 
The Price Maker, Roden Motor Company, Missouri Valley, has always been known for great selections, honest deals, lowest prices. And now The Price Maker does it again. With a prime deal and a prime car at prime interest rates, you won't believe. We're offering our new car buyers interest rates as low as 11.98%. Add that to a selection of over 300 new Chevrolets, Oldsmobiles, Pontiacs, and Buicks, and Roden's has a prime deal that just can't be beat. If price is important to you, come see The Price Maker, Roden Motor Company, Missouri Valley. Where do you go to find a beautiful 42-inch Kimball Crown Piano at last year's price? Three styles to select from. These full-size Kimballs are inflation-fighting priced at only $12.95. That's up to $700 less than comparable models. 90 days, same as cash, on this beautiful piano investment at Hospice Mr. Music. 